Good Thursday morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Time to get a business update from City News 680 business editor Mike Apple, who was in Ottawa, which was not very hot, but back <laughs> in Toronto, and you had a bit of an adventure coming home. That drive yesterday was uh, interesting to say the least, coming westbound on the 401 in Oshawa, hit that wall of snow. Literally a wall. Just transitioned. It, it was literally a wall. I, I, it was, I've never seen anything like it. Rain, snow, and whiteout condition. <laughs> oh, and everybody man. just threw on our four-way flashers. Fortunately, westbound, it wasn't too, too busy. And, uh, you know, just kind of had to adjust very quickly and drive very slowly. And then it was done. Oh, and, and the best part was the thunder snow. That <laughs> was could just see the more and more thunder hit. snow in our lives, which scares that me. Was very I'm not cool. A... <laughs> it, that was very cool, actually. It is cool I, to see. I I, 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 I like it uh, to some extent because it was kind of interesting, nevertheless. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a fun drive, fun drive back from the nation's capital. Thing. There you go. You had busy days, and you had to deal with that on your way yeah. back. Uh, let's talk AI. We got some high-profile uh, tech mm -hmm. pioneers talking about this and kind of trying to slow it down. Well, look, you've got this chat bot, the chat GPT, mm -hmm. and uh, you go on this system and it can write essays and kind of correspond with you uh, quite effectively, uh, Devo. But look, I, I do not profess to be anywhere near to be a tech expert, but uh, some of the biggest brains in the world, if you will, uh, the likes of Elon Musk and uh, uh, co-founder of uh, Apple, Steve Wozniak, are saying, slow this down, put it on pause for six months. We do not know uh, exactly the human implications from artificial intelligence. We're not talking about Skynet or anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. But I think this comes back to the fact that, you know, if, if you're using these things to uh, correspond, uh, write uh, articles or even use it to, in some cases, replace humans with, you know, some sort of a, a digitized representation of a news anchor, for example. Well, you've got garbage in and garbage out. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it basically compiles everything that's on the Internet to, uh, you know, and, and if you've got misinformation at the start, well, how does that play in to the, again, spreading of misinformation right. through an AI product? So, it's slow it down. Just let's let's look at the real impl real world implications of this thing. And when you've got high profile, uh, 1,100 signatories on this uh, uh, open letter uh, saying, "Yo, slow it down." Uh, and the other thing, look, here's the other the other concern, if you will, or prediction that artificial intelligence is going to replace a lot of jobs. Too many Goldman jobs. Sachs has a report. 300 million is a report from Goldman Sachs. Big Wall Street brokerage saying you could, you know, see a big increase in productivity if you get rid of the human element and let mm -hmm. the computers do things. But is that a good thing? Of course, we said the exact same thing and worried about self-driving vehicles. Remember how that was going to take all uh, take away all sorts of jobs? That hasn't happened yet, has it? Yeah, so, I'm good with an actual again, driver in those vehicles. And for right. this, I, from every industry, I have a friend that's in the video game industry talking about, you know, the storylines that get written They've tested that out too, like you said, our industry as well. So there could be a lot mm -hmm. of jobs being yeah, lost. Just, just, just slow it down. People want to, you know, it, it, sometimes the best ideas are not necessarily the best ideas, and you got to kind of rethink those. So true. Uh, we got about a minute left here, Mike. You want to go mm -hmm. uh, shopper seeking uh, do Dollarama? I do want to talk. I yeah. do want to talk Dollarama because you know we've talked about the profit margins at the grocery stores and mm -hmm. how inflation has uh, led to different consumer shopping trends. Well, Dollarama. Uh, this company has been growing by leaps and bounds because, look, it's the least expensive, one of the least expensive places to find uh, everyday items. Not a dollar anymore, up to five dollars in some cases. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, the profit margin at Dollarama, we, we, we go against uh, and talk about the grocery stores making a lot of money per item sold. Dollarama had a, a billion and a half in sales and made $260 million in profit in a single quarter, Devo. They make a lot of money on what they sell. Yeah. Uh, don't kid yourself. Um, their same store sales jumped 16%. So that means there are more customers coming in to those stores and uh, buying a lot more at the same time. So, you know, we've seen these shifts in retail. Um, the other thing, quickly, I was up at the budget, obviously, and mm -hmm. uh, we're still waiting to hear from the credit rating agencies on the Trudeau government's big spending budget as we go deeper into debt. 
Um, markets have kind of shrugged the shoulders and going, okay, that's fine. We've got some economists saying you're spending way too much money. You're going piling on the debt. The economy is going to slow. Hit the brakes on the spending. Of course, that didn't happen. But if the credit rating agencies put out any red flags, that'll be something to watch, uh, specifically for the Canadian dollar, which this morning's at, actually at a one month high. So. There we go. Mike Apple, thank you so much. And Dollarama has taken a lot of my money. I'll say that. I remember there was a stigma <laughs> before going to dollar stores. Now no one, no, no, everyone's proud of the deals that they get, which is, uh, which is a smart thing. Uh, Mike, it's thank you so much. It's a very successful company, and they're growing, and they're growing uh, planning more stores. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Mike, we'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy. Get some rest. Thank you. All right. Yeah.